Hello everyone, today we're going to look at a couple different cover crop mixtures that might work well for your farm. Let's go take a look. Right here we're looking at a winter hardy cover crop. So what that means is it will last through our winters here in Michigan. What we tried to do here was touch on each functional group. We have crimson clover representing the legume, we have annual ryegrass representing grass, and we have dwarf, dwarf Essex rape representing our brassicas. It's great to have each functional group represented to maximize the synergistic effects that these cover crops can do for our soil health. We're looking at a winter kill mix here that's still representing all three fun functional groups. We have oats, Austrian winter pea, and a radish. This is a great beginning cover crop mixture for the novice because it won't have management issues in the following spring as far as controlling, doing like a burn down or some type of herbicide application. And if you're curious about the benefits, just take a look at what will be pore space. This is the last cover crop mixture we're going to take a look at today and this one's interesting because here we're making lemonade out of lemons. Our uh, manager here at the farm, whose name's Brooke Wilkie, has uh, kind of come up with this idea of all the leftover seed at the end of uh, planting time to mix it together and just have a um, a mixture that reflects what they had planted during the year. And so we're going to call this the Wilkie seed mixture. You can take a look here and see we have Sudex, we've got rape, we've got oil seed, we've got a couple different types of clovers. So multiple representations of functional groups and lots of different synergistic effect that's going out, going on here. Uh, we do want to caution you a little bit about getting too many types of species in a mixture because you can really start to drown out the beneficial effects of certain types of species when you get too much. But I think that this is a great representation of how to be really efficient um, using seed you've already purchased and getting the benefits of a cropper crop.